I'm Craig Carl, a Director of Solutions Architecture at Oracle Cloud. Let's take a quick look at Oracle Cloud block volumes. Block volumes are remote, iSCSI attached volumes that can be attached and detached to compute instances, moved from instance to instance, and backed up with a simple API call or via the web console. Let's create a block volume. We start in the upper right hand corner and choose Storage, Block Volumes. We click Create a Block Volume. We choose a compartment to create our block volume in. We give our block volume a name. We specify the availability domain and the size of the block volume. And we click Create Block Volume. A block volume will take a few seconds to be created. Now our volume has been created, we want to attach it to a compute instance. To do that, we go to Compute, Instances. We choose an instance. We click Attach a Block Volume. We choose our block volume, and we click Attach. The block volume is now attached to the compute instance and is available to be formatted and used by an application. To back up this block volume, we click on the volume name. We click Create a Backup. We type in a name for our backup, and we click Create. The backup is created instantly and is stored durably in the Oracle Cloud Object Store. We can detach this block volume from its compute host at any time and attach it to another, or leave it detached in case it's needed later. To detach a block volume, we find the host the volume is attached to. We click on the ellipses, and we click Detach. Choose OK. The block volume is now detached from the host and is available to be attached to any other host. It's important before you detach a block volume from a host that you guarantee that there's no I.O. going to that block volume. Done and done. Woohoo!